Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing very well. Simulation for the Nation here coming to you from my Horde Belleron Rebuilding the Farm series. We're on the main yard at the moment. We've just been stacking up a few pallets ready for the next load to come up here. We'll probably do another uh, run first thing in the morning, I would say. But the voucher is ready to go anyway. Mass is tucked up in the shed. Cattle have been fed recently. Uh, all the fertilizer work has been done on the grassland. And we're into harvest we have made a start uh this is the only field of ours that is ready at the moment there as you can see we're already well through it uh, it's got to be finished today it's, early, it's late july now so we need to get this done the oil seed rape is looking mighty fine uh that's still got a little bit more to go we actually flattened a little bit taking the header off there but never mind uh, but yeah we're looking all good so we're going to continue this get this all wrapped up and then get a bit of bailing done as well uh, i was desperately desperately hoping as you can see my finances have gone up just a little bit we've been doing a few contracts I was really hoping I'd see that a uh, new combine would come in on uh, on used uh, promotional or used vehicles. So I could maybe capitalize on that, trade this one in against it. But not to be. Uh, I'm now kind of changing my tack because the field straight ahead over there, it was going to be the next field I purchased. That's 270 grand. So we're quite a way away from that. So I figured that maybe that can be a project for next year once we've taken a little bit more income in. Uh, got a full harvest under our belt from all of our fields there. But... We'll see about that. As you can see in the distance there, I have a hired worker currently cracking along with another contract of ours. He's just finished off some fertilizer over there. At least the equipment as well. Nice big fertilizer spreader going there. So that should be good. We'll get that one completed very soon, I would imagine. And when it is all done and dusted, we should be able to uh, reap a little bit more money. So that's going to be fun. This field is yielding very well. Uh, as you can see, the crop looks fantastic with the latest uh, updates to our uh, crop density and to our textures there they do look brilliant i need to square this up i don't know quite what i was thinking when i took this turn last time around uh, i blame gamer dragon i was watching a bit of his stream that's probably why but we'll just square this up and then we'll take this all off we're going to round bail this up as well probably use uh, the new massey actually just to put that onto the baler I had the old massey on the last time there but we'll keep that on the trailer for now uh, and then yeah we will all be good but yeah look at the look how thick this crop looks now i love it i think it looks fantastic it really really does looking very good indeed so we'll just uh lift you up a bit wonderful stuff and then yeah this is like i say this is the first in uh august and september we have a little bit more work to do uh what we do need to do at some point soon is get hold of the slurry tanker as well because we'll need to get the slurry from the cattle out onto the uh onto the the silage field over there where possible like i've always said i'd like to not use our own uh fertilizer for that but we'll see how that's looking uh down we go wonderful and then yeah like i just want to get this done today so it didn't we didn't lose it of course uh we're just gonna dump it into our silo for now and wait and see what we do we do need feed for the chicken so maybe this little bit of uh of uh, wheat barley here will do the job uh and that might do because you can put wheat barley or sorghum in i do believe there so that will be good and then uh anything that we take after this i mean this is a lot of feed here we don't need that much for the chickens at all uh but uh, it's all we do need something so uh, there's only about two ton of wheat left that won't last us too too long and we come there but yeah nice to get out nice to get things working here and get firing along it is summer now after all not too many bailing contracts coming in at the moment i really wanted to capitalize on those they haven't arrived yet so i have to wait and see about those ones we will be having uh, a good run of contracts when they do appear and the harvesting contracts haven't arrived yet i think it's just a little too early it's still offering cultivation and fertilizer right now so we may well see those start to appear. Oh, I've missed a bit. Oh, well, if we're not going to get it all in, let's just make it worth our while. We'll stick over here a bit. And also avoid the straw sloths. Uh, so, yeah, we will try and uh, we'll try and make sure we get all that gathered up. And do as much as we can. I really want to, uh, to see what we can do in terms of upgrading our con uh, combine at some point. Now, that would be pretty cool. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. A new combine is always fun to have. Uh, so, we'll see. Oh, I made a right mess of that, didn't I? Somewhere down the line. Good lord. Anyway, we'll just get, get this finished up. Fortunately, I don't have the uh, caution straw mod or whatever it's called from the mod in here. Otherwise, that would be a little bit disappointing. Uh, probably start to lose a little bit here. Yeah, hoping to get a good return on our straw bales because we are starting to get close to needing them now on our uh, in our cattle. No, right, just like that. It was over not long after it started. That's all good. Contract 43 is finished as well. Wonderful news. 
All right, let's uh, let's get that completed. Been a very productive day for the farm so far today. It's always interesting that you can't see the uh, the auger here. Not the best of designs. I think that's going to do it. close there you go you can hear the augers kicked in and it's all fitting into one trailer uh, so it's going to pretty much fill that trailer full I would imagine there but yeah not too it's only a small little block there anyway but as you can see what that means now that we can get this uh we can get the straw bailed and cleared we can get this little bit I'm not sure if we'll plow this in. It's already it's been plowed recently. We might just uh, spread some lime onto it and uh, work it over from there. I'm a little reluctant to plow it over every single year. We might do every other year uh, and see what that looks like. But uh, yeah, if we start looking into doing that kind of every year, then we're going to have a lot more stone issues to contend with. Whereas, but what that does mean is we don't actually have a good cultivator at the moment, so we'd have to go shopping. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get a, if we can pick up a good bargain for a cultivator. And we'll uh, we'll look into perhaps doing that, but as it is right now, let's just knock this off. We don't have one, so we'll have to see. I don't really want to use the power harrow straight on into the stubble there. Whilst it can do it, it's never the the friendliest approach. Ooh, what will do? It is on. Oh, so we still got a little bit left. Okay, we didn't get to fill the whole trailer full. All right, let's go and get this tipped out, and we'll bring the uh, bring the Massey back on in. I think we'll do is just swing it around here first. Big haul on today, though, boys. Big carton drop all the way from here to just over there. It's going to take all of about a minute and a half. Uh, but yeah, no better tractor for it. We'll be able to rake it through anyway. I do, do really love the uh the, the fill plane textures on that fs22 there if you do not have the weight limit set so you allow it to fill some of the fill plane textures just look so much better they really do all right so we have a bit of a full load here so we'll go just into b and we'll go around this way i think Oh, okay, okay. We've got all of our silage bales unloaded, as you can see as well. Nice little hole there in the end. Very pleased with how that all came together. Uh, very good little hole, actually. Really, really good amount uh, for one field. So we'll take that one with us. Uh, you can unload. Uh, but yeah, they are all now stacked up. We've got most of it. Well, we've got all of our produce for now gathered up there as well. So that's looking good. Cattle are looking good. We're just waiting to try and get through to about September before we can sell the milk. But I am t tempted to just get rid of it. If anything, because like it, if you want to play with any kind of uh, grip of realism, you can't really keep milk for like three months. Well, you can't. You definitely can't keep milk for three months. Uh, you can keep it chilled for a few days at best, I guess, but not for that long. So... Ideally, we should be getting rid of it daily regardless. Uh, if I have a look at what we're currently contending with. Oh, let's just get you completed. Collecto. Thank you very much. Not many contracts there. If I refresh them, they don't really change a great deal. So we'll have to think about that one. But yeah, here are all of... Oh, we had a lot of fertilizer left in there as well. Good Lord, did we? Heavens. Uh, cool. So... That's all our bales for now. These are the ones we bought, obviously, for an absurd amount of money. We won't be doing that again. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and then, all right, let's get, the, let's get the rest of that emptied out. We get that combine brought out the field. It's only going to get in the way of the baler. Uh, and as I show you here, we come on in. I keep checking over here to see what we have. I just don't need a cotton harvester, folks. I just don't. Nor do I need a maze header. Uh, and I don't really need that either. So not uh, somewhat slim pickings for me, unfortunately, there. Everyone else's streams I've watched uh, this afternoon, I'll watch a bit of Game of Dragon, a bit of Landy Kid, and a bit of Virtual Farmer as well. All of whom have got some really good sell, uh, items on discount or used vehicles, and I was just not able to capitalize on that at all. Now, let's see. This is going to be a little tight there.
There you go. Nailed it. Nice looking combine. Two things I wish this combine had. One was a bit more speed. And two, the gear, uh, the chopper to, to fold up in the back there. If I had those two things, I think it'd be a winner. I really do. But I also like now that it won't tip out the grain until or unload off the auger until you start the engine up again. It's a small little thing. And there you go. Auger goes in. Up come the steps, which means we're ready to boot out of here. So for now, I think well, until everything else is ready, we're just going to stick this in the shed again all the way for now. Nice little test run. Make sure everything's okay. Seems to be working well. Get it back in outside of the elements. Wonderful stuff. Well, oh, good, good, good. Let's see what else we can get going here. Uh, look at that trailer as well. Not expecting a great deal of straw here, but again, it's all just about getting as much as we can from all of our different fields there. So anything is a good start. And this will do. Uh, keep us going a little bit anyway. And I'm sure we'll see a few contracts coming in soon. We do have our uh, the opportunity for our uh, collect heart straw from contracts. So we will be trying to do that. We'll leverage that where we can. But again, we just need to probably wait until August, September time for those contracts to appear. Alright, up she goes and down she comes. And right now you can just wait right there. Perfect. Making some good little progress. Heather trailer can stay there. It's out the way. Main idea now is to get some bailing done. And that means we'll bring out the Massey. Come on, wait. So what we're going to do, we'll get this Massey ready to go. And I'm curious to see, I want to see what tomorrow brings in terms of contracts. So what we might do is just get through the day. And then sleep through and then we'll see what tomorrow brings there in terms of uh, contracts. We'll have to get everything stepped up in terms of our um, produce as well. Get that ready to go. But then it'll be onwards with... Uh, I'm also curious to see if we get any more good value on the used market. We'll have to keep an eye out on that one. So stay tuned and we'll see how that looks. But yeah, let's get a little bit of bailing done now anyway. Not any particular rush with the bailing. It's not time sensitive as much as our harvest itself is. Okie dokie then. On to the bigger newer Massey today, which should be good. What we do need to do before we go any further, let's just crank up these bells for 1.8. Away from the smaller, denser silage bales. Okay, get this little bit over here. Happy days. And away we go. Don't need that anymore. What's curious is that the fill type changes straight away as well. You don't have to produce a bale uh, of the wrong type of bale before you're good to go. It's all the way. What we'll be looking to do soon as well, you can see the fence line stopped here. We do need to get that continued at some point. Uh, once we get the, the fence lines in, uh, putting up this fence in FS isn't cheap. So we do need to wait till we get a fair amount of money saved up for that. It's going to be a good winter job to do. Okay. But yeah, it's interesting that I never noticed it, it would do that before. Change bale time like that. That's pretty cool. Obviously, it wouldn't apply for. You're still going to kick out a few straw bales if you're using a big square baler because of the way it's going to keep them all in the uh, in the chamber there. But yeah, that's a pretty neat little touch, nonetheless. No, oh, we're not going to quite get one and a half. It doesn't look like. Oh, maybe we will. No, no, it's going to be. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> Still not bad. Not bad. Better than a poke in the eye, as I say. So, what we'll do, we'll get this field finished nice and quickly there. Uh, bear in mind, these are bigger bales as well. Let's not forget that there. Each one's coming in about 11,000 litres. That is a lot of straw. Look at the size of those things. Woof huge uh, so that's gonna keep us going for a while if we can get a few of those coming on in that'd be great there goes the chamber i didn't really move forward that was my own fault there you go perfect 
all right so we'll get this all done and dusted and then like i say we're going to come back in the morning there just to show you any updates uh see what our next plan of attack will be uh see if there's any more contracts so we can get some more revenue coming through and see how we're looking so join us in the morning well good morning everybody we have well we knocked off early yesterday we we're able to come in and yeah we've got a lot of uh a lot of catching up to do this morning uh pallets everywhere that we need to shift Lo trailers to load up uh cattle to probably feed as well uh all part of the morning day but the morning will probably start with a little bit of pallet clearing i would reckon um we'll get this all stacked up ready to go uh but there's a few things i want to just update you on we finished the bailing now there doesn't from first glance doesn't appear to be too many bales here but don't forget each one of these bales i believe we've got six one two three four uh just five actually five and one in the and one in lab like one is about 70 percent complete inside the chamber of the baler but each one is 50 like eleven thousand liters so that's fifty five thousand liters of straw that that is not all bad so it's a great great starting point uh, we'll get these poured in with the jcb today weeds already starting to grow i think actually we might just get this plowed over at some point to be honest make it nice and easy uh we'll plow all of this in in one uh when we can the oil seed rape as you can see is ready so the combine will be coming back out soon that's looking really good now actually very happy with how that's coming along uh, so we'll get ourselves into there uh, very soon to get that taken care of uh, everything is looking good from a fertilizer standpoint as well and um, would you know it all of the wheat is ready here as well the oats down at the bottom won't quite be ready i don't think they're gonna be one stage behind maybe if memory serves uh they do look like they're pretty good though actually look at that bam oats are good as well today is gonna be a good day so we've got everything to harvest there everything is looking good grass is coming along technically we could harvest it now we're gonna let it grow a little bit more we'll get to that in september i reckon if the weather is good we'll check what the weather looks like for september and um, we'll get another crop of hay off it but yeah it's coming along which is the good news uh so everything is coming in now what we want to have a look at is just see how how much work we can keep ourselves going with uh let's just skip off our contracts and come back to them here there's not much happening there oh i've got another one just more fertilizer more of the same really so we might look into doing field 18 and uh, we'll see what we're looking like we're, we're gonna be busy ourselves with today today's gonna be a good day on the farm so we'll make sure we get as much done as we can we have to leverage uh all of the machines here at some point or another uh, and we'll see how that's all looking now what i am curious about is to see again i definitely don't need this the single row i believe that's sugarcane harvester don't need that definitely don't need a 12 row uh diamond now this uh i do need a slurry tanker do i need this shiny one hmm probably not it's a bit of a monster isn't it good lord I mean we, we could come to that it's not what i'm looking for ideally like i say i, I would love a combine so we'll, we'll hang fire for now uh but we'll keep looking in onto that one but like i say we'll go and get on with a little bit of uh tidying up around the house get the uh get the morning work done here and then we'll be away so uh we'll leave it here for now it's just been a bit of a sunday roundup really harvest is in full swing here for us at hot Belleron, uh, and we're about to get a start and make once we get this field done there's no straw coming off the old seed rape once that's done all of this is going to become one giant field and i can't wait to get that going so we're gonna have a lot of work to do until next time though i hope you have enjoyed we'll see you in the next one do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you later